Some newspapers have called Acid House Music a sinister and evil cult which lures young people into drug taking. The message is certainly getting across. What do you know about Acid House Music? There's, there's meant to be a drugs related craze. Uh, seems to be the most worrying thing. And where did you find that out? That was in the paper. Do you think it's a, it, anything it, to do it, with a certain religion, do you think? No, is it anything is it? like that? No, no it's no, more to do no. with a kind of a drug, isn't it? It's a drug. Yeah, well, those that take it want to be, ought to be ashamed well. of themselves. So I presume they do friends of dancing, that kind of thing. Um, probably out of control, not behaving like normal. Uh, normally they would because they're under um, the effects of the drug. I've just read about it in the newspapers that uh, acid house music, I assumed it was something to do with the drug scene. It must affect the brain in some way. Unless it's just the music that must does it. it. All knows? them lights flashing don't do you any good either, do it? <laughs> oh, I, I wouldn't even go in the uh, pub where them lights are. Oh, no, they drive no. you mate, don't they? It's one of the, of the biggest hypes that have come on the music scene in recent years. And it's the peripheral stories that go with it. Drugs, sex, sensation. Ted Hines is the Sunday People's Acid House correspondent. He's one of many popular newspaper journalists who find it an irresistible story. You're now dealing with parties two or three every weekend in both Lon in London, Birmingham, Manchester. Two, three thousand kids at a time. There's a great potential there. A lot of money involved, and I think money is the key to a lot of the people who feed off Acid, acid House, the people who organize Acid House parties, and the drug barons, pushers, peddlers, who flock in its wake.